Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another jumbo case of the brand new 2021 Topps Series 1 Baseball. Six box jumbo, pick your team number eight. This is part of the uh, rip party break. So at the end, we'll re-randomize everybody's names and the name on top will get a uh, an exclusive rip party pack, which could have some interesting things in there. The second name down will also get any non baseball team cards. I think there's some cards that are like history of the game or something like that. And so that'll go to the second name down. Now here's something interesting. I don't know what this means, but this case has uh, a piece of blue tape on it. What does that mean? Is there text on there? Yeah, this, this is what it says right there. Sharp lines, multi-surface, Multi-surfaces? Multi-multi-surface. What does that mean? Who knows? Let's pop this case open. So I'm gonna open up a few box, a few uh, boxes at a time, and then we'll fly through the case as quickly as we can. We're gonna save these exclusives right here for the very end of the break. You can see them on the hanging out on the top camera right there. Good luck, everybody. What's going on in the baseball world right here? So, according to MLBTradeRumors.com, Twins re-sign Nelson Cruz. Giants to sign Jake McGee. Marlins to sign Adam Duvall. Cardinals re-sign Yadier Molina. Angels got that Shohei Otani extension done. No arbitration. Reds and Sean Doolittle agree to a deal. Oh, I think I missed. I think this went under my radar here. Rangers and A swap Elvis Andrews, Chris Davis as part of a five player deal. Interesting. I, I guess the A's want, or I guess the Rangers want to start playing their young kids. Which I guess is good for the hobby. I, th I think the Rangers have accumulated a lot of, a lot of uh, higher round picks, high picks over the years. Yeah, Elvis Andrews been with the Rangers for twelve years. Wow. Right. Nevertheless, he was set to lose his starting job to Isaiah uh, Kiner Falefa, who I think we've seen his cards in recent years in Bowman sets, I want to say. So I guess if you've... If you have... Uh, a position on uh, Isaiah Kiner for Levis. Dust off those uh, Bowman draft cards or Bowman cards and, and cross your fingers and hopefully he does uh, he does well this season. So I guess that this might mean we we see his rookie cards maybe at some point this year in a series two or an update or something like that. I think that's a strong possibility, especially if he does well.
Phillies ended up re-signing uh, Didi Gregorius as well. Here's the third box, and I'll start going through cards. Rangers sign Mike Fulton Evitz. Twins re sign Nelson Cruz. Oh, he already has rookie cards? Kind of full, full effa? 2018 or 2019? Oh, okay. I'll go back there and dig those up, ladies and gents. Top 100 right now, brought to you by Tops Now. Tops Now getting some advertising on, on MLB Network. There you go. All right, gang. Here we go. First few boxes here. I'm going to try to catch as much of these, the bigger name rookies, as much as possible. But good news. All cards ship. Guillermo. How much is e how much is a box? I don't know. I think maybe a couple hundred for for a jumbo box and maybe a little over a hundred for a hobby box. Something like that. But all cards will ship. Obviously, all rookies will ship. All these nice foil cards will ship. Bo Bichette ships. Some, the names are kind of small on this this year. Christian Pache is one of the bigger names there. Right here for the Braves. All of those will go to Ivan, including the ones I miss, Ivan, which I apologize about beforehand. So I'll try to at least grab a few for each of the top rookies. We've got stars in service, Yadier Molina, who just re-signed. With the Cardinals, there's Mike Trout. I, I don't know. Some people don't like this. I kind of like that mid-80s design right there that Topps had back in the day. I like the big team name on top, big bold name on the bottom. We got Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson. Those two are supposed to be big names. I have this design brings back some memories for Derek Riley. Sean Jaspi, what's going on? Sean Jaspi burning the midnight oil, early morning oil. There's Nick Madrigal, who's supposed to be pretty good. Alec Baum is one of the top names, at least for now. Let's wait until the season starts. Hopefully, guys like Alec Baum keep things going. That would be awesome. Oh, I need to 
with another. And we got a relic right here for the Phillies. Bryce Harper, Alec Baum's teammate. That goes to, all of that will go to EA and the Phils. Numbered EA to 299. Looks like Joey Barton, Dylan Carlson are often paired together. I'm trying to spot maybe a Casey Mize here, too. Here's Will the Thrill. Is this the year the uh, Phillies put it together, boys and girls? Let's look at the, do I have a Phillies death chart here? You know, you got, I guess, I guess they, they maybe need a little starting pitching outside of Aaron Nola. They got Zach Wheeler, Eflin, Spencer Howard in the mix. Archie Bradley closing. They re-signed uh, Riel Muto. And we got Hoskins and Alec Baum. Alec Baum on third base. Scott Kingery is pretty solid. Gene Segura, Didi Gregorius combo. In that shortstop-ish area. They still got Kutch out there. Roman Quinn. And, of course, Bryce Harper. I guess if maybe some of those younger players. That's not a bad team. On paper, I, I feel like starting pitching maybe they got to work on, but this kid's pretty good. You know, that's a good line over 44 games. You know, if you extrapolate that out in, over the course of a 160-some-odd game season, 150-some-odd, whatever they're playing this year, could be good. And speaking of the Phillies, there's Bryce Harper. I guess some sort of... Variation maybe it's flipped around different different border I guess black border all around or dark blue something like that that'll go to EA there's the regular one right there there's Derek Jeter all cards should Autograph coming up, and it's Bobby Bradley, rookie auto for Bobby Dalbeck, that is. Rookie auto for the Red Sox. Josh Proust with the Bo Sox. He's supposed to be pretty good. Number two, 192 out of 199. Joe Adele, it's supposed to be a big name for the Halos this year. Got to hang on to those. There's Casey Mize, former number one overall pick. Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. He's supposed to be good. You know, I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of rookie names. Just kind of keep an eye out for this year, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. Anderson's supposed to be pretty solid, I think. Kiva Ruiz from my Dodgers. He's supposed to be Ryan Mountcastle, people like. For the O's. And we've got a Chris Davis. There you go. Out of 2021. 
Nolan Ryan die cut. That's Rangers edition, not numbered. Uh, Ryan H with Texas. Really like the the foil stamp that they have right there too. All right, that was the first jumbo box. Here's the second jumbo box. Here's another Casey Mize and Sixo Sanchez. And nice uh, MLB spring training patch, Ronald Acuna Jr. These are manufactured patches, but they still look pretty sharp. Ivan with the Braves. We've seen some of these numbered. We've seen some of these autographed and very low numbered. A lot of good stuff. Donaldson and the Frank Thomas die cut. Trust me, she'll like it too. And out of 2021, we've got Mitch White. Made a, made a start or two last year for my Dodgers. That goes to Ryan G. <laughs> yeah, Derek. It's a, it's a commercial that Frank Thomas did. You haven't seen that commercial? I feel like it's everywhere. Try a bottle. Just text four four five six six six. Just text great to four four five six 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 for a free sample of eugenics. And trust me, she'll like it too. There's another silver foil rookie card, and we got an autograph. It's a Metropolitan, Franklin Colome, or Kilome. Don't know. I think the other guy, Alex Colome, spells it with a C. Says Colome, but I don't know how this rookie pronounces it. Mets, Joseph Falsetti, maybe Joe knows. But I'll, I'm sure I'll find out once I watch some games this season. You haven't seen those? I feel like those, those Frank Thomas commercials are all over the place, Derek. But yeah, they're 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 pretty they're pretty funny. I think. The early ones are the earlier ones. I think are the funniest because you can tell that that Frank Thomas. Well, he's still not a very good actor, but like he was definitely not a good actor in the first infomercials that he was doing, and so the acting was terrible. And um, I think there were there were like some scenes, some lines that he delivered would just crack me up because he was he was almost like I don't know. There, there's just something like funny to it, like. He was a little too aggressive in the early commercials. He'd almost like bark at you, be like, "Try a bottle," and we're like, "Oh, okay, okay, I'll try a bottle," you know. But now he's a little more chill. Now, now he's he's got his salesman pitch down. But the early ones were really funny because the acting was so bad. It's still bad, but but now I think he's roped in like Andy Van Slyke and. Um, I think Doug Flutie. I think is now in some of his commercials too. So he. He's recruited some old buddies, I guess, to join in on the infomercial. 
It's a classic infomercial, you know, for those sort of products. And, ooh, this is nice. 25 out of 25 Mike Trout in that camo pattern. That's pretty nice. Gary Martin with the Los Angeles Dodgers, the Los Angeles Anaheim Angels of Orange County of Los Angeles and California. Nice. Obviously, in a base-heavy set, finding something numbered like that is pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Oh, is that you? Base is loaded as Gary? There you go, Gary. Congrats. Your, your patience has been rewarded. And we still have a lot more boxes to go. I need some more, more fishing. More fishing for some delicious trout. You're welcome. Nate Pearson's supposed to be pretty, pretty good. He's got a live arm. There's some landscaped cards here. These are fun. Great photography. Good times. A playful bout happening here. There's just goofing. There's Joe Adele. For Gary. And we've got Major League Material Shogo Akiyama for Justin and the Reds. Oh, there's the Gito, uh, Giolito no-hitter showing the... I think his picture, whenever if we, if we see him, but I think his Series 1 card is, uh, is the no-hitter celebration. Casey Mize and Sixto Sanchez. So Marlins, Alex, you'll be getting all those Sixto Sanchez's, including the ones that I accidentally passed by. This goes for everybody, really, for all the all the top rookies, anyway. And the uh, Casey Mizes. Obviously for the Tigers, that'll be for Anthony. That's the two ninety nine. We got Albert Pujols die cut, not numbered. with a cardigan Taylor. That's a good call. All right. Next box, third jumbo box, and then we'll uh, pop open the next three and we'll work through those. And then, my friends, I think we're going to be done with uh, series one for a little while. We, we might get a little bit more, but, but for now, we are donezos. Thanks, everybody. We went through, I mean, Count out all the cases that we've done. We've done a ton, so I appreciate everybody. And no fillers either, so thank you very much for that. I think we've filled all of these up uh, just straight up without any additional thing that we had to do, which I appreciate. And, of course, thanks to Tops for allowing us to do the after hours and uh, be able to open these cases a day earlier. Today is the official new release day, but these also include the Rip Party Pack giveaways too, which are awesome. So thanks to all involved. All 
All right. Now we got Andrew Benintendi. There was a lot of trade talk to 2021. A lot of trade talk for Andrew Benintendi. Whatever came of that. Josh Proust with the Red Sox. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. Relic. That's for the Braves. Ivan with Atlanta. I think they're trying to move Jackie Bradley Jr. as well. So there's there's some there. By presented by Tops now. Look at that. There you go. Tops getting some using some of that advertising money. There you go, Tops. I hope they do. Uh, last year, last summer, believe it or not, I don't know if any of you may have caught this, but they did. Uh, they did some uh, radio ads for National Baseball Card Day, which I thought was awesome. I think I was driving home after a night of some fun group breaking on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I was going home, popped on the. Uh, the old sports talk radio, which I often listen to as I drive home. And uh, I caught a Topps National Baseball Card Day commercial, which was awesome. They're like, yeah, Topps National Baseball Card Day coming up this month. Visit your local retail, major retailers like Target and blah, 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 and your local hobby shops. And then I said out loud in my car, hey, that's me, Jaspies. But hopefully they, they put some advertising dollars in this year as well to point people to their local hobby shops. Speaking of which, we're in Hermosa Beach, California, if you're listening live right now. We are open to the public again. I think we just... It's Cody Ballinger. Nice. We uh, just reopened our doors today. We did a little bit of uh, reorganizing and remodeling in the store. So if you haven't been here, uh, if you were here before, I encourage you to come back because there's uh, we've got a couple big new showcases. We've kind of reorganized the store a little bit. Looks really clean. Looks really nice. Looks really sharp. I think if most of you, if you have a a picture of an old dusty card shop in your head. I think you'll be surprised at what Jaspies looks like when you come visit in Hermosa Beach, California. Just Google us. All right, we've got another numbered card here. Matt Shoemaker, maker of shoes for the Blue Jays. Jeff with the Bluebirds. And we've got an autograph for the Cardinals. Johan Oviedo for the St. Louis Cardinals. It's a rookie auto going to Derek Riley and the Redbirds. There you go, one auto per jumbo box and a couple relics. Joe Adele, Casey Mize, Mike 
and to 499 we've got Josh Donaldson twins that'll be for Michael All right, three more boxes to go. Another three jumbo boxes, and then uh, we'll be done. We'll do a recap at the end. We'll give away the exclusive pack. After this break, as you, as most of you notice in the schedule, we're going to go through uh, a bunch of orders after this. And I know stuff sold out, so we'll just line them up in the order that they sold out and start working through, working through all of those breaks. We'll do all those exclusives too, the box loaders and the, uh, the silver packs. on the top camera right here right there good luck we're almost there almost there So this is this 2021 series one obviously is kicks off the the 2021 baseball season pretty much all the uh, officially kicks it off. I think there was a 2021 release before. It wasn't archive six series 2021. So 
my question to you is, who, who does everyone uh, think is going to be the big rookie this year? I mean, we're obviously seeing a lot of rookies that we're pulling. I think all these guys still have rookie of the year eligibility. No, Alec Baum doesn't. Does Sixto Sanchez have rookie eligibility? saying he like he likes Wander Franco, Adley Rushman. I don't know if Ad is Adley Rushman going to get called up this year? I thought he was still like a year or two away. Maybe he is, I don't know. Wander Franco should I th I think should definitely be definitely be in the mix this year for the Rays. got a variation. So if it's flipped around, no no number on here. Telltale sign of a variation. Luis Patino for the Padres. Stephen Elliott with the Friars. Does Christian Pache still have rookie eligibility? Yeah, he looked, he looked I want to say, looked pretty good in the playoffs? Towards the end of the season? I feel like he was looking pretty good. There's Joey Bart and Dylan Carlson back there. Casey my silver foil. I think we're going to see more of him this year, too. There's Reese Hoskins for the Philadelphia Phillies. EA with the Hoskins relic. Gavin, I, I, think, I don't think Gavin Lux, I think he has eaten up his rookie eligibility. I don't know if he's going to be there for rookie of the year. I'm pretty sure. So an article from September 2020 that lists 22 players that went directly from the draft to the majors. Yeah, that doesn't happen very... 22 players in in all of baseball history? He's near person, silver foil, and out of 300, Gene Segura. In all of history, yeah, it, I feel like it doesn't just doesn't happen to him. So, what are who are some of the the bigger names on that on that list? Uh, 
And 17 out of 70. Dab on him. Brew Crew, Miguel with the Brewers. Or, yeah, since the draft began in 1965. There's Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo, Fabric, Patch, Mets, Joseph with that one. Wow. I didn't realize Jim Abbott went drafted and went directly to the majors. John Allerud and Darren, Darren Dreifert, the old Dodger. There were, I, I remember a lot of hype surrounding Darren Dreifert. I think injuries were, was was his sort of sort of downfall. But when he was on, he had some he had some electric stuff. Mike Leake, I didn't realize, went directly from the draft. To the majors. Pete Inclavelia too. Dave Win Dave Winfield doesn't surprise me. Guy's a phenomenal athlete. Feel like he could have jumped into the starting lineup of any uh, of any of the teams that he was drafted to professionally across various sports. And a card out of 2021, it's uh, Mitch Moreland. And an autograph. Ooh, look at this. Robin Yount autograph. Nice. That's Miguel Ramirez with the Brewers. Robin Yount has some excellent penmanship. There you go. Nice one for the Brew Crew. Didn't Alex Rodriguez go from draft directly to... No, maybe he did a year in the minors. I know he was pretty young when he was... Called up, and I don't think he really looked back after that. Derek Jeter through the years going to the Yankees. Seventy-eight degrees in here. Oh, we gotta get rid of those lights. Then. I mean, just just for like five ten minutes, because then it cools down this room really quickly.
There's Jack Flaherty to 199, Major League Material. He's from the Southern California area. Cardinals, Derek Riley. Joe Adele, Casey Mize, And we've got out of 99, it's Bo Bichette. There's another Bo Bichette right there, Future Stars. So this is the uh, the vintage back cards or whatever they call them. There's a name for it. But you see the logo is different. So it's got the old school Topps logo foil stamp right there as opposed to the 70th anniversary one. And if you can... Well, if you feel the card, it's it's like the the sort of matte finish, that paper sort of back instead of the glossier finish. It's pretty cool. Twelve out of ninety nine. There you go. Blue Jays, Jeff. Tags, what's going on, Bill? Just saw the added vid to way break one of the rip party nice part of the one of the packs oh yeah 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 that, that seems like a lot that seems like eight weeks ago but yeah if you choose to rip if a, any of the winners really everybody if you choose to rip those uh if you are lucky enough to win one of these packs we're gonna do the randomizer at the end of this break and if you choose to rip it let us know what you find inside that's a variation. No number. That's Ian Anderson variation. Nice. So I think the I think the regular Ian Anderson rookie card is the landscape one where he's pitching. This is the portrait mode right here, if you will. You can tell by you can also tell the variation on the codes on the back, but tops has him flipped around, which is really nice of him. Similarly, fooling us. Trixie, Trixie Series One. And out of 2021, we've got Josh going to Mark Miller and the Pirates. That's uh, 658 out of 2021. It's a cool shot of him sliding into uh, sliding into home. And we've got an autograph. That's old Burnsy. Corbin Burns. Brewers. Another Brewers autograph for Miguel. And of Milwaukee.
All right, gang. Final jumbo box coming up, then the exclusives, then the randomizer, then the recap. Then we're done. All right, good luck. So we have another variation on top. And it's going to be for the Royals. It's Brady Singer. Short print going to uh, James with the Royals. Nice. So if I'm not mistaken, the short prints, the tiny little numbers on the back of the card, the last three is um, the last three, 230 represents the, uh, oh man, let me my stacks here, represents the short prints. I think 231 is the super short print. Vintage stock, that's right, super. I think you might be lagging behind by a few minutes, so when you hear me say that, make sure you uh, click the live button to catch up. Goes for everybody, I guess. Fernando Tatis Jr. Relic, Stephen Elliott with the Friars. Looks like he's the real deal, Tatis Jr. And out of uh, 199, we've got Colin Moran. Pirates, that'll be for Mark. different. I think that's just a regular silver guy there. Right, here's the first half of the jumbo. And there comes the second half of this jumbo. Yadier Molina. Cardinals fan, I'm sure, happy that he'll be back for another season at least. Derek Riley with the uh, future Hall of Famer. Nice Mount Castle insert. All those Christian Pachés, of course, goes to Ivan Roman. 
including the ones I may have accidentally missed while I'm going through all these cards. Another numbered card, that's Danny Duffy for Kansas City. James, that's the 2021, 1248 out of 2021. What happened in 1248? Wasn't that when the uh, when the Magna Carta was signed? You guys remember the Magna Carta? Where is that? Now is that a document laying around somewhere in an English museum? And we got Zach Birdie, rookie auto for the White Sox. That goes to Regina. There you go, Reg. Autograph on its way. On its way. Home run derby card. So on and so forth. Is that anything big? No, but a pretty solid break overall, boys and girls. look at these exclusives. Here are the uh, the Major League All-Stars box loaders. And lead off with Javier Baez. Cubs, that'll be for Brian Wilk. We've got Christian Yelich for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Miguel. And we've got Matt Chapman for the Oakland A's. Roger. Another Christian Yelich for the Brewers. Shoy Otani for the Angels. Gary. And last but not least, we got Rafael Devers for the Bo Sox. That's going to be for Josh Boston. All right, now the silver packs. These can be some of these can be autographed too. We have seen some autographs.
Nice Alec bomb right there. Let's sleeve those up in just a second. Another Alec Bomb. Nice couple Phillies right there for EA. And then we've got George Brett. Nice one for the Royals. That'll be for James. I'm going to sleeve all the, that, that stack right there in just a sec. Six O Sanchez for the Marlins. That's for Alex. Luis Garcia for the Nats. Jay. Monty Harrison for the Marlins. That's for Alex. Joe Adele for the Angels. Nice. For the Halos, there's Luis Garcia again, Monty Harrison again, Joe Adele again. These are not numbered. This is numbered. It's uh, Hank Aaron, Braves. That's to 150. Nice, pretty sweet stuff there. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That was six box. Pick your team number eight. Of the brand new 2020 20, or 2021 Series 1 baseball. A lot of ones in there. Let me just sleeve these up really quick and then we'll do we'll run the randomizer for the pack giveaway. The second name down will get any, I think there were a couple tops history cards which don't which are not associated with the baseball uh, pro team. So that'll go to that person. And then we'll do a quick little uh, autograph relic. And short print recap. And then I'm going to take a quick five, and then we'll uh, and we'll dive into some orders and see what we're going to do with the rest of our evening, ladies and gentlemen. We got plenty of time for plenty of breaks. All right, so let's flip back to the screen right here. We got Spiro and the Diamondbacks down to Jay and the Nationals. Let's copy those names, get them into a blank list. And new dice. Let's roll it, randomize it five and a six, 11 times for each list. Name on top gets the pack, the exclusive pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then five more times, right? Yep, to make 11. Seven, eight, nine, good luck, 10, and 11, the final time. After 11 times, the second name down will get the couple extra cards, I think. Brian Wilkes, some non-baseball team cards. And the name on top is going to be Mark Miller. There you go, Mark. I'm not sure if I called your name out too often in the break, but you've got a Rip Party exclusive pack going your way. This will be shipped separately from all this sort of stuff. Um, I think because I don't think we're even getting those packs mailed to us until next week. And remember, folks, obviously the last couple days we've done, you know, a, what a dozen of these uh, series one cases maybe more so give the shipping team the sorting and shipping team a uh, just a couple extra days or so um before just kind of keep that in mind before before this stuff goes out thanks for watching thanks for breaking with us i'm joe for jaspiescasebreaks.com i'll see you next time for the next break bye